Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wife I Can Play's Tainted Grail. All of Avalon. What do we got here? So the devs uh, was kind enough to give me a key for this. I've actually played Tainted Grail, the card game, a long time ago, before I started this channel. Got 144 hours in that game. I definitely enjoyed that one a while back. Could potentially do another run of that um, as well, but I'm checking out this one at the moment. There's a big event coming out, uh, coming up. Might take part in as well. But I thought I'd check it out and see what this is like. We've got some great beats in the background. Viking music here, ready for war. So early access at the moment. Lots of new stuff coming out soon. So let's jump in and check it out, see what it's all about. Pick a little movie. The all-consuming Red Death. 600 years ago, King Arthur led the great escape from the homelands, where our kingdoms were ravaged by the plague. Leading people to Avalon, he started the Age of Conquest and took the island from the Four Dwellers. Doesn't look that healthy. Using the mysterious powers of men his, together with Merlin, they cleansed the land of the weirdness, a primordial force of chaos and possibility. But now, long after the death of the king, Camelot is in shambles as Avalon fractures into chaos. Old legends are gone, and the weirdness is creeping back into our lands. The bleeding heart of the plague has started beating once more. And the Red Death has returned. Rulers of the island Asylum an order of the Red Priests are desperate to stop it by any means necessary. Rotting in one of their cells is a stranger who might bring a spark of change to this cursed island stuck in everlasting autumn. Everlasting autumn, eh? Kind of cool premise. A bit of character creation. Who should we pick here? Something like that. We've got male, we've got normal, or are we fully muscular and ready for battle? We're in a cell, but I guess this is forever, so let's just do that, shall we? What kind of here? What are, this is a face. <laughs> we got some we got some interesting ones here. I wonder if in full access you'll have access, you know, to be able to do anything you want, but um oh. Let's jump in. This guy looks fine. That looks alright. Purple here. Got some strong colors. But the black goes so far, like, it's really black on the mustache. Alright. Um. Wait, what do we... Oh, yeah. It could be like a... Doctor Strange. Looks pretty good. Maybe we can be a wizard. I think there's magic in this. All right. That's fine. Skip the tutorial. No, let's keep it. All right, Rowan. Let's get in here. Get things done. Balanced mode providing moderate challenge. Challenging mode for experienced players seeking intense gameplay. Oh, there's only... Minimal challenge. Relaxing. Moderate. Hard. Well, let's go normal for now, and then maybe when the if I go into this uh, event coming up in the future, we'll maybe go hard and see how we go. Okay, let's do it. Rowan, you're in. Are you sure? Can't change it. No mirror Rise of changing. And shine. Rise and shine. Yes, it's me again, and I hope this time you'll cooperate. Without me needing to repeatedly hit you in the face, eh? Hey, mate. Okay. Someone got hit in the face one too many times. Jeez, we're a little bit of a stutter in the little tiny cell here. We've got roots coming down. That could be a potential. Sorry, mate. I'm just I'm just exploring my cell. Route of escape there. Dig our way out. I'm. I'm Presuming that 
pale take. And take our really clean pale. Let me just see. Let me just try and get this. We want the voices to be high. But everything else to be a little bit lower. Because they always have voices, voices down low. So let's apply those changes. Continue. All right. Okay. Let's take our pale. That's what I need. There's a book. The Seven Commandments. First came the prophet, then came the word. The word is sacred. The pope is car cardinals, and his priests received the word. The word is the way. We are all brothers and sisters starving for the word. The word is a sustenance. Together as holy suffering we walked the, pilgr the pilgrim's path. The word is our strength. Repeat by facing the trial of the plague. The word is our cure. Feels like we need this one word. The priests clad in red guide us towards grace. The word is salvation. There is no other sa uh, sanctities, only the prophet's word and the will of the red church. Do not doubt your faith and you will be rewarded. Another pale. You could do both in different hands and clobber someone in the, in the back, the head, and their vice. All right, let's do it. Look, we just have to get this over and done with. All right. Unless you want a visit from someone upstairs. And trust me, you don't. Just like before, no food until we're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves, we're going back to my tried and tested fists. Okay. What we... So, tell me, what were you doing in the forest when the Red Shields caught you? That's a good question. Whoa. Um, oh. Play style bonus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So one-handed plus three. Slightly increased damage dealt with one-handed weapons. Turn weapons blocking. Heavy armor. Athletics. I was hunting. Well, for any... Uh, my Bell White little playthrough, I'm the best hunter ever. So this could be great. I was avoiding the city guards trying to sell some goods. So it's kind of like a rogue who's got a bit of one-handed archery. What's the hunting? No other thing available. One-handed light armor, magic, and alchemy. Should we try magic? Stay silent. Oops. Um, I maybe I'm kind of thinking like hunter or magic, but then like hunting might just be like you don't want to just skulk around. Maybe for this one we'll just go the big damager. Army, huh? If I were in charge, I wouldn't even consider letting you join the ranks. Oh, come on, mate. The feeder to the dogs. Jeez. Nice waste. And you were planning to enlist with... Um... Battle mages. Oh, so we can go, like, battle... We can go a bit of magic as well. I feel like healing would be great. Playstar bonus two. Two, two. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So... We could go full infantry, like, I feel like maybe a paladin could be good. Slightly increased damage and reduces mana cost of spells. Increase the quality of crafted potions, light armor, instant healing spell in HP. Burn. Yeah, I think maybe a bit of healing. So that's why I keep punching you, yet you look suspiciously healthy. That's right, mate. We'll make more of a challenge for you soon enough. It okay. Hit me as much that as you want. easier than I expected. Now, unfortunately, we'll have to stop. Oh! Someone else is a hunter. I always found it puzzling that these people won't bathe. You, I understand, you're literally rotting in this damned cell, but them, there's just no excuse for the stench. There they are, finally. Keys, mate? How you doing? I know, I know, you have a million questions forming in your head, but they'll have to wait. One of these keys will open your cell. When you get out, head left. I'll scout ahead. Why don't we just... Go together. The Great Escape. Open equipment slots. Alright, we've got nothing at the moment. Where's my pails? Nature's Caress. Instant healing spell. Healing value 10 HP. Put that in my left hand. Oh, there's my different loadouts. Interesting. 
But then I can't use two-handed weapons on my other one. So my second loadout might be the correct way to do that. I got stuff in my bag. So the key. How do I use the key? I guess I guess I'm just gonna use it automatically. Mystery mysterious knight told me to find him deeper in the dungeon. Here we go. Wait, it's in my other hand though. Just say oh yeah, I guess left hand. Use the key. Open. Oof. Mate. Broken arrow, wooden club. Oh, he's got everything I need. I guess I just take all. Beggars fear. Beggars can't be choosers. All right, equipment. Oh yeah, okay, that's going on. Bit smelly. Need to wash. Uh, temporary increased strength and endurance, but lowers dexterity, perception, and practicality. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. We've got stamina bar. You can jump. You can crouch. It was a dodge mechanic. The poly Oh, here we go. Hide weapon. Uh, oh, you can hide the weapon. Show active objectives. Sprint, shift, quick. Mouse wheel. Okay. Heavy attack. And block. It's not block. It's a block. Oh, it's the middle mouse? No. Block heals me, and I just used half my mana. So I can't block if I've got that in my other hand. If we... Put that as that one, so Q that. Okay, then I can block. That seems, feels better, because I guess I just heal myself with that if I need to. There's a bit of... Oh, is that just... I don't need so they, every, they give everyone seven commandments. I got a lock picket to get in there. That in the corner until he turned to stone. Is there any lock picks around then? So I can open up every cell on the right hand side, but not well. I don't know why can't I open that one up? I don't think I'm gonna find any lockpicks around here. Ooh. Trail of blood. Lockpick zero. Just another commandment book. Something I don't even want to know about in there. Hold a glass. I'm guessing you're not alive. Corpse. Do we need to take these things? Do we have weight? MP, HP, SP, sort by newest, mark all as seen. Do these sell? They sell for a decent chunk of money, potentially. Unlock. Requires guard key. What's this guy? There's lots of stuff in there. Oh. Undead. Alright, not bad. I don't really need that stuff. Oh, it's orchard. Well, I'm dead. Devil's Snare. Amputation Knife. A topsy report. Subject 17. I drilled a borehole into the left temporal bone. The skull appeared to be full of thick, particularly congulated blood. Or congulated, whatever it's called. I opened the skull by removing the calvularia. Then I drained out the unusual natural excess of fluid. I sawed through the cerebral flat folks using Morgan's cut. I severed the nerves and brainstem. I lifted out the brain. Its shape is unnormal, abnormal, swollen as if by it burst from the inside. I made incisions in the venom, venous 
sin sinuous and separated the putum men from the bone. The base of the skull is intact. Place the brain in a mixture of alcohol and cedar oils for further examination. Good for you, mate. Just what you need to do. There's something. Fish oil. Oh. A basket? I can just take everything. A heart? Just sitting there like that? Is it a glass heart? Doubt it. Sage? A medical saw, like... Do I, I don't need any of that stuff. Okay, so this is the plague. It turns people into zombies. The red plague, I'm guessing. There's nothing in the basket. No. Oh, that's fantastic. What am I going to be fighting in this world? There's the brain. The covered in cedar oil. Jeez. Why have they got like offices in cell, cell blocks? Where's my weapon? Like I'm hiding it. What's hide again? R. I haven't actually done these other things yet. Shift just thing. Show active objective. That's good. Dash alt. Okay, so that's the dodge. Push. Plus that. Push. Oh yeah. To brother Sefton. Venerable brother Sefton. I would like to remind you of what you have mentioned numerous times before what I've mentioned. Namely, that the alchemist station should be cleaned after your views, especially when you are so careless with caustic and toxic substances. I also remember, recommend that you refresh your elementary knowledge by the ingredients of a healing concoction. Those are alcohol and sage, not poisonous plants and hearts. The kind of negligence continues. I'll be forced to ask Father Varghan revoke your privilege to use the laboratory may the word of the prophet be your grace brother aaron so that's telling us how to make healing potions okay which is what we got in the other one um so can i just make that whenever Bag. equipment status i can't just make stuff i guess not here not now Right in the head. Laboratory key. Owl. Is that better than what? Have I even got anything on my head? Yeah, I do. Don't look too bad. Equipped has got more. Equipped has got more. Okay, so I'm wearing whatever is good. Oof. Oh. I get a sneak attack here. Apparently not. Well, that didn't work. I wonder. Oh, yeah. Okay. Boing. Whoa. Just took everything again. All right. Can I? I. It's so much stuff. Am I full? Spectral sword. Summons a spectral sword. I bet he, I bet he wished he could do that. Arian's method of separating the mind. Chapter 1. Although we have long uh, relegate, relegated the revered priest Morin the Holy to the margins of history, I caution against ignoring the wisdom and solutions he presented in the study outlining his once famous method. As Morin lived during the reign of King Arthur, the language he used may now seem outdated and rather difficult. However, the context of the text emphasizes crucial points regarding the separation of rather extraction of the subject's mind. Okay. And yes, the Holy wrote um, his treatise while remaining under the heavy influence of Druidic practices. However, we should not forget that it is full of contempt towards that um, now mostly eradicated, fortunately, quackery. On every page, Miriam's words regard the past so-called masters are dripping with venom. Yet in this infinite wisdom, he plucked 
what was most valuable from the treasure trove of their knowledge. This is another reason why we should not disregard Murian's work in this day and age. He was able to evaluate which of the druidic practices and observations were valuable uh, and which were uh, deservedly, deservedly burnt along with them on the fields of the charred conclave. Murian stressed that the subjects, as he called them, should become familiar with the Red Priest practice. They should be able to see and feel most of the proceedings. Okay, if a subject lost consciousness, loses consciousness, he or she should be revived. Partially anesthetized is permissible so long as the subject still remains able to see. If a promising subject is in danger of hemorrhaging to death, their wounds should be tended to so they can serve the cause for as long, long as possible. Okay. I don't think I need to take that, do I? Another heart. Jeez. A chest. Hot goo. Second Pope. The encyclopedia call of the second pope yet many are unruly corrupt and indolent they claim to know the prophet but their deeds tell different stories solid are their minds and their consciousness and the prophet sees all and casts filth upon the flesh their flesh their skin is covered in red marks and fest this is the red plague probably festers and flakes off their body the fever consumes them from the inside like an unquenching fire the red death not only takes their lives but also deprives their souls of the chance for salvation there is however hope for the impure for the prophet says renounce your unruliness dishonesty and indolence and take my word to your lips and into the heart and your soul be purified as mine was purified and thus says the prophet trust in my disciplines as you trust in me for they will lead you towards the cure if you bring harm to them whether they with deeds words or thoughts it will be as if you brought harm to me and for that you'll be severely punished i don't we don't need to take all these bone meal great boiled meat and bone meal just the bone meal thanks apparently what it feels like we have to come yeah okay maybe we'll go back and search the other place first oops okay um blood in the middle everything needs blood apparently a whole okay so we make potions Grasp. Damn. Need mushrooms? I guess the whole thing is a station. Oh, you can't get any more sage from it. Oh. Blood clot. Like, do I need blood clot, guys? Like. It's time, my brothers! I hear you cry. Woe is us! Woe is us for heavy for we have escaped death, only for it to follow us all the way to the promised land. But I can say this, all is not lost. I say this, we have been delivered to our salvation to the only place where we can battle the red death and emerge victorious. For there is one thing we did not have in the homelands, one thing that native only to Avalon, one thing that was answered to all our prayers, the weirdness. Many think that the weirdness is nothing but another bane, an instrument of our inevitable doom, but I believe that it is our only hope for survival. We should not fear it, but embrace it and welcome it to our minds. This will heal our body. Seek items at the edge of the wilderness, touch them, let them heal us. Okay. Well, he's not going into the weirdness. So, the weirdness is like this black mist that comes up, I think. It was in the card, card deck game. Um, and so, they're all getting like going into religion to figure out what's going on but um that leads to problems woman's age 25 average build potential plus plus so what is this elder wield elder wield potential plus plus potential question mark east of grubwood slim build three plus like seriously i don't need to tackle this maybe there's a person named that does it go somewhere else or I just got put them all in here? I doubt I need all this. Spirits, Devil's Snare, a brain, a monster brain. History of this island. I went there. 
History of this island. History of the island of us Islam. So that's where we are right now. And the prophet said to her disciples, go to the marshes where those mar oh, were in the marshes marked by the plague await their demise and aid them. Build an asylum where peace can be brought to their bodies and their souls. Do not grieve, do not fret for as long as you hold my teachings in your heart so long I sh I so long shall I live. And when she breathed her last breath, her acolytes buried her in the, on the island of the dead. Then they went to the dark morass where as per her command, they built a lazaret for those suffering from the plague. And so it happened that one day, King Arthur and his court were passing by the island when suddenly he heard a beautiful voice calling him. The voice was coming from the prophet's tomb. So Arthur went there and ordered his men to remove the coffin's lid. When he saw inside was not bones, but a beautiful woman who seemed to be, have been snatched by death in slumber mere moments ago. Uh, and then Arthur's heard her words loud and clear. Arthur, the plague is a daunting trial for us all. My disciplines brave it among the foul-smelling marshes and poisonous vapors. Yet they do not complain. They humbly preach the word, asking nothing in return. So it falls upon me to ask on their behalf for a place worthy of their to toil. The king of Avalon said, I will grant your request. And he told his sister, Morgraine, to leave the four dweller ruins on the island of the dead. He ordered this, his men to ready the place for the, the priests clad in red so they could continue their service to the people. Okay. All right. There's some weird stuff going on. Let's go back this way, because I guess we can't... There's probably just a dead end. What a place. Probably going to be a big fight down there or something. I don't know. It keeps going down here. We need a shovel to dig. Gosh. Well... <laughs> Now it's got me scratching my head. Do I go that way or this way? I guess he wants me to go that way. That's the way he went. So maybe this is just a small detour. Collect some mushrooms to get some mana potions. Wheat tooth. Great. You should so have like creepy crawlies just suddenly like moving around you. Sneak. Okay, you gain level by just doing things. Can I attack down here? Alright, there's a lot of mushrooms, though. Big rat. Oh. Oh. See any. Two of them. Nick, level 12? How did I get from the level 11 well, already? So this might be... An oh, God, there's tons of them. Well... That's from where we were. Yeah. Just sit here forever and gain all my levels. We fight three people. Seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? Okay, it does do a lot of damage. Right. Your death is certain. Oh, that was bad. Can I block properly? Okay. What was my dodge? This one. Okay. The word protects me. Alright, we're getting there. The other guy just ran off. So we don't need everything. Let's not be crazy. We'll 
take weapons. Doesn't even know I'm here. I need a potion. Oh, I can heal myself. That's right. Wrong button. It's pretty weak. Like, if I can just make healing potions, maybe I don't need healing. Alright, let's just jump back in our little A first. And well, let's get some healing potion stuff sorted. So what's... Why am I... Why is my hand over there like horror? Um, alright, let's drop this. How do we drop stuff? Okay. Nine gold. Anything like... This is worth 64 bucks. I'm guessing we're going to lose it all or something. After this tutorial. Do we need all these pieces of paper? Probably not. Okay. Um... So this is just a single use thing. But if I never use it, how do I, can I put that into, okay, cool. I feel like this is going to be better than this. Heavy, one-handed, very light. Like maybe light's better. But I feel like we're better with heavy weapons. Right, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get things sorted. Heal five health over ten seconds. What? We're gonna eat brains? No. No, 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 no. Right, haze for a certain period of time. Alright, I need to put these health potions somewhere. Auto fill slots. Filter sort. What? Filter all, dish all, filter quality price. Suitable items will fill these slots automatically with the most effective item placed here by default. Filter all, sort price. Okay. Weight, newest, quantity, dish. Okay, so we'll put a healing potion on one of these and I guess a mana potion on the other. Three health over 10 seconds. So how do I use them? Well, oh, that's all my stuff. In, in, uh, no one can see me with all my stuff. Okay. Um, oh, I guess quick bar. Yeah, here we go. Is that, it's going to heal me only that much. I'm worried about magic being disappearing. But I guess we can, um, the blood goes on it certain degree all right let's take this guy out oh look they're actually better than what i'm wearing wait is it i don't think so zero hour what is he what is it talking about So he just instantly sees me if I, uh... Alright. Take! Take! Yeah, it's odd that they've got that on. Cooking pot. Choose ingredients. Where's the best combination from random ingredients based on your cooking proficiency? Can't put anything in there apparently. What about all my yummy food I've got on me? Blood, hearts, guts, alchemy of viscera. Viscera. Every alchemist worth their cauldron should not be afraid to get their hands dirty. There's no greater pleasure than sticking your hand up a, up to your elbows into a chest cavity and removing a heart that's not so long before tirelessly pumping lifeblood into the body. There's primal power in the viscera. A fact that those who prefer to stain their dainty fingers with the herbs and flowers do not want to acknowledge. How can anyone claim that the bark of an old oak, no matter how holy it might be, could yield better results than the flesh of a living, breathing creature? It is beyond me. Trees do not think. They do not feel. They are not driven by instincts. There is nothing about them that could translate into greater uh, potency of ingredients. 
The rage of a concerned bee cornered beast is fear and its will to survive uh, what produce the strongest ingredients and therefore the strongest potions. The concoctions can push humans beyond their limits and awaken their primal nature by transforming fear into fury. But we are much alike the beasts we hunt and it's through alchemy that we can be brought pro closer to them. Okay. Monster blood. Peppermint. He says that and he's got peppermint sitting on his desk. The infinite symbol, hey? All right. You want me to take all these brains? Like, are you serious? That takes us somewhere else. That's weird. Texture kind of like. So now we can make last breath. Oh, we do need brains and everything. Allows for easier breathing. Does not contain lungs. Grants haste for a certain amount of period of time. Dead heart. A liquid essence of still warm corpse. Okay. In which longing and fury for lust just lost life smolders. Causes rage. Increases the chance to land a critical hit. Rah. Dead heart causes rage. Perfect. All right, we'll put that on our hop. We may as well use because you never use these things, do you? Let's try and use them, shall we? And drop the heart. There's got a lot of stuff in here. All right. All right, I'll grab all these silly things then. Brains. Monster blood. Ceramic pitcher. Like, I don't need, I need that. Though. Okay. I guess we'll go keep going this way. Is there a save or anything? Save game. I'm guessing there's like an auto save. Load out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take items, read, quest log, skill tree. Maybe not. Okay. Well, let's go through here, shall we? Grab some more mushrooms. Another shovel. Okay, so this is where we came through before. So you can go either way. Okay, I get you. All right. Down we go, guys. Oh, you, you're here. This is a secret door for sure, yeah? What the? Save the game on me. How do I do that, um, push? Oh, it's because I've got the magic in one hand. Okay, one minute. Okay. Alright, maybe not. Rejuvenation potion, wooden arrow, 15 of them. Short bow. I can rest if I need to. Cooking pot. Onion. That's all I got so far. All right, mate. What's going on here? You took your sweet time. Oh, I was exploring. But I understand. I did too when I was leaving this place for the first time. You have to admit the red priests are quite resourceful when it comes to death and dying. 
I didn't get any lockpicks or anything. There's lots of other stuff back there. Who are you? Great question, truly. But in case you haven't noticed, we're still within the walls of the island asylum. When we're out, then we'll talk. Well, I killed everyone I'm back told there. This path leads to the beach. I don't know how, but if it's true, then I'll wait there for you until dusk. You're gonna run away Good again? Luck. Oh god. Oh. I'm told this path leads to okay. the beach. I don't I'll go myself, mate. I don't need your help. Little tiny mushrooms sitting there. It's like an old ruin. Plasma. Oh, lockpick. Now you want me to go all the... Oh. You sneaky. Sneaky people. A jar. Brick hammer. Brick hammer. Two to eleven. Doesn't say like break stones or anything. I kind of get stuck when I. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, that's my shovel. Someone's being very sneaky coming up to me. I could get my bow out. <laughs> Give a bow out here. Oh, it's like a... It's, he's not being sneaky. He's, uh... He's like a goblin dude. He heard it. He's coming. I don't know if there's, like, um... Oh, he's got the red plague on you, mate. Broken arrow. Whoops. Okay. Damn, so we can't get back up here. Yeah. Because there was a whole lot of stuff. You can't, like, grab onto things. Nope. All right. Give us three lockpicks with three locked doors back there. And take us away. What is this place? Oh my gosh, what the heck's all that? Commentary of Brother Eston's Underground Wonders. Um, okay. Contrary to Brother uh, Eston's assumptions that the lower level of the island asylum is nothing more than a narrow yet impressive system of vaults limited only to the area of the building complex above, it appears there's no into its tunnels and corridors. Moreover, I have long suspected that it might not only span the entire island, but reach far beyond its boundaries. While I would not want to be little brother um, Luston's commendable achievements during his exploration of the lower levels, he seems to have been all too eager to accept potentially dead ends to be exactly what they appear. Furthermore, my own research has confirmed time and time again that the most of the places he marked as closed off passages proved to be buried tunnels leading further into combat complex as a doctrine it did di dictate determination yields results and i have been rewarded generously for my own at the end of one of these tunnels once dismissed as closed off we have reached a vast chamber in the middle of it a menher it is a magnificent monument yet quite unusual it's truly an underground wonder as it may uh, revolutionize our perception of those mysterious statues i feel like this is the um, person that's been buried in the crypt Jeez. Just a note underneath it. <laughs> uh, third of Rowan. Hey, it's me. Uh, Moon. 442. This diorama of an ancient four dweller keeps nagging at me. Why does it look so dead? All the depictions he we saw before seemed to be living creatures. And the skull, so similar to ours, it's almost disconcerting. It looks like Menher, but the Menhers were raised by Merlin himself back in the old days, so that's impossible. Then how? How could this ancient four dwellers predict that Merlin would bring in the future? What, 
what Merlin would build in the future. Finally, we have it. The ultimate proof that Merlin actually couldn't have built the man, Menhares himself. So that, I think the Menhares are those big statues that people like fires underneath and stuff or they need sacrifices or something. We found one buried deep in the da down in the labyrinth. Brother Hugh Carr is examining it as we write this. So if we are the first to explore the depths of the island of the dead, it clearly indicates that Merlin couldn't have invented the Menhares. This knowledge will shake the faith of that old bastard across all of Avalon. The world of our prophet, Kaya, will finally prevail. So are these different people? No. This is still the red priests. What is that? Well, looks like we're going to be using it. This is interesting. Okay. Just touch it. I can get a lantern. Oh. Brother Terrell's diary. Poor brother Jerry. Fell into the abyss. I'm sure Kaya will take care of his unfortunate soul. Since he's died for the good of the entire order, we now know that we can't try to lay planks over to reach the other side of the chasm. They simply will not hold. There is some unknown force blocking the passage. I can see the outline of the bridge. So it should be possible to cross it yet. When Brother Jerry made Kara watch it over his soul through rocks in that direction, there seemed to be nothing but air. There must be a way. There must be some mechanism or spell we're yet to discover. I can't give up now. All the secrets of the other side are calling to me and begging to be uncovered. Be the first person to cross the bridge, even if it kills me. Well, maybe it did. And did you talk about this sitting right here? This definitely seems like something. Okay. So, they, okay, okay. They pressed it and it looks like there's something there. They tried to lay planks over it and the planks disappeared. Fair enough. The so auto saves down the bottom right there sometimes. There are echoes of our feet as we walk through here. Another shovel. How much damage does a shovel do? I can't use shovels like that. Can I dig with the shovel? Oh. Oh, one of these guys. They got slow attacks. So I can do a, a big hit. Should I be taking these daggers? Ooh, this is like the picture on the front of the... And so the question arises, is there any significance to this men her having three arms instead of four? If so, how could we learn more? How could we examine it further without touching it? Poor Father Abbey was brave enough to touch it with his bare hands. His disappearance shocked everyone. It's not that he died, he's just not there here anymore. Uh, it's like he never existed. That After that, our Pope blessed his name, forbid anyone from touching it again. But I must admit that I can hear its whispering. It calls to me by name, and I don't know how much longer I can resist. I know it should report to my superiors first. I just don't want to. I'm sure somebody, someday I'll hear the call and answer it. I'll tell them it was K, K even if it wasn't. I just need to know. I shouldn't be taking all these. Looks like we're going to touch it and head and end up in the beach. I guess. There's no way through here, no. Alright. Touch it, we shall. Whoa. What, they died instantly? For the Abbey. Oh, it's bandages. 
Like, can I use them to heal myself? Or is it just... Is that what you put on your hand? Yeah, they're just like... Uh, never mind. Never mind. Interesting place. It's like different pasts and futures or something. not here like nature fighting humans oh there's a little amulet over here a little, I mean, massive. Glittering stone. Increase magic armor by 50. How do we, how do we know what to use? When? Oh, it's not in here. Oh, can I put that on my... On my... Jewelry, it's an amulet. It was massive. Okay, it's on. Oh, so I could wear bandages, but it gives me no defense anyway. Where'd my hood go? Did I throw that away? Oh, so this is the stuff that we've equipped as well as not equipped. I get yeah. Whoops. Oof. Oh, that looks like we're breaking them. They don't look happy. That's the guy waiting for me. Oh, no, it's not. I don't think it's going to work. Still can't get these to work. I guess we'll just go into this very nice looking circle. <laughs> Walk on the heads. someone to find me are you here to help me leave this place potentially um what are you i wish i could answer i cannot remember i know i am not complete i remember i once knew who i was at some point merlin or something i do not anymore just am. What is this place? I do not know. I think it is some kind of prison deep in the weirdness. Uh, why are you here? Why are you here? I'm trying to escape prison. A morbid statue. A men here. Men that here. Will explain the weirdness surrounding us. Are you a prisoner? I might be. I do not know. Was I sent here for a reason? Did I end up here by accident? Like you. Well, I don't even know what you are, mate. You're just a statue. Why do you want to leave? I've been here for what seems like an eternity. I feel I am getting restless. You are looking for a way out yourself. I think we might be able to help one another with that. I shall do something now. Oh Trust gosh. Me, the discomfort will be worth the outcome. Okay. Imperial hold unlocked. Oh, now I can use these things? So he's gone into my mind or something? Kind of looks like Merlin, probably. All right, so he's gone into my mind. Now I can use these devices properly, yeah? Because I was talking about, like, mines being put into different locations. Yes. Okay. 
Ooh. It looks like a better sword than what I have. I feel like this is a big fight arena. Oh gosh. Uh, dull broadsword. All right, let's get this done. Parrying is one of the most useful skills in combat. Allows you to avoid all damage and greatly reduce the enemy's stamina. When enemy stamina is depleted, they become staggered. Perform a successful parry. Use block right before the enemy attacks reach you. All right. Oh, that didn't work apparently. Okay. Oh, you probably have to do a couple of them. All right, that feels good. Imperial hold allows you to slow time. Use it however you want to attack, escape, or so on. But remember that once used up, it will need to be recharged. You recharge it by killing enemies. All right. How do I use it? Oh, middle mouse button. I can kill both of them. Too early. Oh no, it's alright. Alright, that feels good actually. I am sorry I did not ask for your permission to do that, but I hope it was worth it as promised. What did you do? You went into my mind or something. I found a bit of emptiness within your heart. My heart. A place where I could dwell for a while. What are you? He already says he doesn't know. I am a piece of a shattered soul, judging by my abilities. I used to belong to what your kind would call a four-dweller. Okay. Um, what do you want from me? I have already told you. I need your help to leave this place. Just rest in my heart. When we are out of here. I will need your help finding the rest of me. To make me whole again. I feel I am but a shadow of what I once was. Okay. Um, okay. Look for what is left of me whenever you step into the weirdness. I know your kind tends to avoid it, but you do not have to be afraid. Okay. I will be your shield against the darkness. And what, after, what about after we leave? I will try to help as much as I can. But I need you to hold up your end of the bargain. Whoa, what the? I never said yes. Um, At the moment, yeah, I will. Thank you. We shall meet again then. Find the weirdness and look for me within the darkness. Whoa. That's pretty cool. So why is this whole map? So you can jump around like crazy? It's a quite a large arena for a couple of dudes. Why does it get light over here? Just the sun coming through. All right. Doesn't even have a hole where the sword was. That was the last one of us. It's taken. Oh, we're back here. Wait, who is this guy? He's like, oh, I think the beach is down there. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, mate. You wanted me to be taken so you don't have to. See what's going on here. All right, let's press this button then. Now we can cross the bridge. Oh, that's closed off to us now. We can't get back to the man. And save it here, though. Okay. Well, well, well. All right, I might save it here, guys. Um, This looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? The combat feels quite good as well, the melee. Um... I don't know about our healing, if we got healing pots, but um, I guess it'll come in handy. Maybe like a fireball or something, or maybe archery as a first shot. I don't know if you can, how easily you can change or anything, but 
Yeah, I'm not sure how far I will go in this first series, but I like what I'm seeing. So we'll play a little bit more just to see a bit more of the um, gameplay, etc. And then we might wait into this new event, which I think is next month or maybe a couple of weeks. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I'll uh, hit that like button to help support me and the developers with this game. Um, I'll put the link in the description if you want to check out this game yourself, early access, so you can pay for it and, and give it a go. Um, and subscribe for more of these episodes and more to come and other stuff I do. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next one. White Falcon out.